Hey there. Happy Wednesday, guys. Um, hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I did my giveaway this morning to a Kathy B. And she's not on the Happy Place um, studio group. So I messaged her and hopefully if she sees this, she'll get back to me because otherwise she has no way of knowing that she won. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm doing another giveaway next week. So I'll let you know about that next week. Uh, today I'm doing kind of a faux Southwest Rocks kind of looking thing. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. So I have a piece of white clay here. It is rolled out onto a two. Got a toothbrush. I have, these are <clears throat> what they call drawing inks. This is what this looks like. They are not alcohol ink. Um, <clears throat> I'll put a link to these in the description. I like them though, they have good pigment and I just, I like how they look. So I have brown and I have coffee. So I'm just going to put a little on my brush and randomly, that is too light, kind of smush it around in different places. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Still have to cough a little bit. Sorry, guys. Uh, this one's coffee. Doesn't really matter where you lay it down. I'm gonna do a little more of that. Okay. And then I have <clears throat> Some mica powder. This is chocolate. I need to dry this up a little more, I'm sure. Make sure your um your brush is pretty dry before going into the mica powder. And then I'm just gonna smoosh this around a little bit. different little areas that can overlap on top of some of the other that you already have down there like that <clears throat> and then the last thing that I have is enamels now when you're using enamels you should probably wear a mask this is tiny little pulverized glass. Um, I think you're supposed to use um, masks with um, mica also. I don't, which is probably terrible. But anyway, this I have two shades of Thompson enamels. Um, I will put a link for those on there. But with the enamels, it just kind of gives it that texture that... Um, kind of looks like, more like stone. So I just kind of press it on into the clay. We're gonna burnish this also. But just kind of press it in there. Let it overlap on some of the other colors that you already have down also, because it'll give texture to those colors. And like I said, it just kind of it just adds a cool texture um, that mica powder can't do because mica powder um, 
it will, you know, just kind of smooth itself out and it doesn't, and it blends itself. So this does not. So let me see. I have that. I have this. I have another one too because this one's really light let's see that's gray <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna put this over here Guess I'll just use this one. The other one's coming out too light. Did it the other day and it came out great, of course. But get me in front of a camera, nothing works anymore. Okay. So we have all that. We're gonna burnish those in. Just I just lay an index card on. And then just kind of rub across so that that gets all burnished in there. Like so. And then I'm going to remove it from here. Blow it off a little bit. It should be... It should feel not gritty so just keep burnishing it until you don't feel it anymore and then I'm just gonna really quickly kind of dab it so Kind of dab it off a little bit so that it doesn't feel gritty anymore. Still feels a little bit gritty. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're kind of gonna schmarm it around a little bit. I'm gonna pull it a little bit and I'm gonna fold it a little bit because you wanna get kind of different little textures in there. So just kind of fold it up and press it in and just keep going around. You want some of that white to show through also because this is what's going to make it look a little bit more like, like stone. So just kind of pick it up and put it down. Picking up what I'm putting down. Okay, so get it like that. And then we're gonna run it through our pasta machine on a two, the same thing that we originally started with. And then it's gonna kind of look like this. And then you can just kind of keep doing that until you get exactly what you want as far as the look. So I'm gonna do that again. So you have some little folds and all that. So that's how that looks when it's done. And you can see that there's some creases and stuff in there and that just kind of adds to it. I, I like it. I like how that looks when it's like that. Um, so you can leave those. I am going to do a pendant with kind of like this. Because I'm going to put a grommet in there also. And I think I'll also do... Oops. I'm going to do a pair of earrings also. I 
there. And copy there. Ugh, do I? Always such a hard decision. So crazy. Oh, I like that. Okay. I'm going to do those. Okay. So that's how those pieces are going to look. I am going to put a grommet in the in the pendant. Let me just Get these all nice and put them down. See how that looks? Just kind of make them nice on the side, see? So I'm going to put the grommet I'm going to put it at the top up here. So I'm just going to put it right in the middle. These are easier than the little ones that I do for the other kinds. So I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And I'm going to put it in. I'm just going to press it in until I feel the tile underneath and I'm going to leave it just like that and bake it and then when it's done I'll show you the rest of the way but make sure that it goes through like that but then just leave it so that's how that looks and I'm going to go ahead and bake these um, 275 for 35 minutes and then I will be back to show you the rest stay tuned Okay, I'm back. This is how they turned out. There's that one. And the little earrings. That's just straight from the oven. Without anything done yet. So with this, with the grommet, I'm just going to push it through the rest of the way. Push it through there. Get a little something to poke that extra little piece out, toss that to the side, and then I'll go ahead and set it. Just push it on in, and that's it for that. Let me just do that again. There we go. So that's how that looks. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, resin these. This thing is a mess. Um, I'll go ahead and resin these. I'm not going to do it on camera because I do need my magnifying light to get around the top edge of this. But I'll show you what it looks like when, it, when it's done resin. So hold on one second for me. I'll be right back. Okay. So here's how they look when they come out. Very pretty, shiny, almost like slate or stone. You can see these also. They just come out super pretty. Another easy one, fun to do with really awesome effects. So I'll put everything that I used um, in the description, all the links and everything. Uh, don't forget to join Happy Place Studio Facebook group um, for the giveaways uh, every Wednesday. I usually have really good stuff. Um, also check out the website traceclay.com for sprays um, or any earrings these will be up there if you want to purchase those um, and that's it so have a great day and you will probably see me tomorrow bye